know. Thinking it's for later tonight I stream. And uh hopefully my TV will live through it. It's being kind of bleh. Oh well. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um Greetings and uh tonight I am not at my best, I don't think. Hopefully, it's not the dread death disease. Hopefully, I will be okay and survive. Hopefully, my TV will survive. There's a lot of hope for survival around here. Like, I, I just... <sighs> well, we'll all be very hopeful. And I will reboot my phone so it will actually work. Hooray. But yes, tonight uh, is kind of a vaguely special night. In that we are going to try to kill Gabriel Knight. We are uh, going to try and get that boy killed. As killed as possible. Chapter 5 is the very first chapter. Where we unlock him being able to die. And it won't be for a while yet. We're not going to be launching straight in and murdering him out of the gate. But it is possible from this point forward. And I look forward to it. I'm going to see you know, how much I can do. I promise you this. I'm going to try to make him die before the uh, stream is up. But, hello! Uh, I am Zyzefer Kekusko Mogington. I am currently hovering off the bottom of the screen. Just move my torso down a bit. Yeah, there we go. I just had to grow a little bit. It's fine. My torso was misaligned. That happens to people sometimes. And, uh... <sighs> I really don't know what to say, to be honest. It is... Just, it is just a Tuesday night. It is just your average Tuesday night. And who likes a Tuesday night, really? Hello, Fire Whiskers. Good to see you. So you've arrived for the showing of doom. Hopefully. Eventually. I was just explaining that we are not going to be able to murder Gabriel as, as quickly as possible. He just, just built a small table to put your recording mixer on. Well, that's a good use for a table, and congratulations on constructing it. I'm pretty sure that if I tried to construct anything more complicated than IKEA, I would seal myself into it somehow. It would be like the fall of the house of us. No, not fall of cask of Amontillado, except, um, I would somehow feel myself inside a table. More assembling than the... Well, you don't sell it short. But you put it together. You constructed something. I respect that. Uh, hello, Shatari. Hello, Sariasong. Everybody showing up tonight for this? It's the most special of occasions. The most special of occasion, Tuesday. Uh, as I was saying a little bit earlier, <clears throat> uh, I am having some throat troubles. So they're fairly minor, but uh, if I start sounding like crap during the stream, you know why. Because of the throat. That's why. I am gonna do my best not to sound too horrid. I am gonna do my best. Enjoy I have been enjoying Lost in Japan. You have 10 seconds, by the way. That's 10 seconds. I have been enjoying Lost I have a big old thing of water over here. I don't know if you heard, I clicked the uh, lid of the water vessel uh, 
indic indicatively to to let you guys know that I'm talking about this water pitcher by my side, which you can't see, but is present. It is, a, it's a very satisfying sound, that it is. Alright, music down. Scum VM. Let's go. Uh, sometimes I walk around with this thing and I pretend it's Pac Man. I just like walking, 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 walking. It's very satisfying. Yep, Scum VM, which is. Funny because you know, Sierra did not use Scum. Scum was LucasArts' script creation engine. I don't know what Sierra was using at this point in the game. Uh, it's time to kill Gabe. Yay, I even named it appropriately. But it is not, in fact, time to kill Gabriel. Not quite yet. We've still got some stuff to do with this boy. Westwood didn't use Scum from Blade Runner either. Scum VM still supports it. Yeah. Uh, there is a... Scum VM supports a ridiculous amount of... of random games at this point. And I respect that. I'm very, gl I'm very glad of it, honestly. Um, I don't know if the emulation is perfect, but it's good. Hey, let's head out to the police station. Talk to our old friend, Leaper. Ms. the Knight. Commissar Lieber? Sit down. Mr. Knight. I love him. He's just such a large, chunky man. Let's see what, uh, let's talk to him to start. What's the status on the case? There's nothing new that I can share with you. Is there anything new that you can't share with me? <laughs> that beautiful face of confusion and I'm going to fucking punch you combined. <laughs> ah, Gabriel, yes, already we are. We are knee deep in the game. Okay, uh, let's try this. You haven't found the zoo wolves yet. No. Have you caught anything yet? No. Why am I not surprised? Gabriel, your your in lower intestine is gonna contain a coat rack. <sighs> kind of a funny thing. Um, I talked to Grossberg's assistant. Uh, it was a fluke, really. Fluke. But uh, she mentioned you guys took some of Grossberg's ledgers. I told you to stay out of our business, Knight. <sighs> true. True. Why did you guys take ledgers if Grossberg was just a random victim? As long as this case is open, I'm going by the book. That means a standard background check on the victim. Find anything? I don't think anyone's looked yet. We'll probably assign one of the younger men to do it. As you say, Grossberg was a random victim. Did I say that? I, I do love that, uh, Lieber is sort of the anti-Mosley. Like, Mosley is the world's most laid-back, goofy cop. And Lieber is strictly by the book, 100%. He either completely hits it off of people or completely makes him his enemy. It does seem to be that way. I don't suppose you'd let me take an eensy weensy look at Grossberg's ledgers. Absolutely not. What if I could prove that Grossberg wasn't a random victim? You're crazy. Am I? Look, if you have information, I want to know what it is now. 
What information? Look, five minutes with the ledges. If Grossberg was a random victim, my looking won't matter. And if not, I may be able to help you out. You got nothing to lose either way. I don't believe you know anything. No papers. The thing is, I totally believe that I don't believe you know anything. It's just a general statement. How long is Gabriel's visa in Germany? That's a good question. I have no idea. He may be living in, uh... Castle Rittersburg. Well, he has family there. I genuinely don't know how Gabriel's uh, situation works. So we've got the uh, Von Zell conversation tape. Let's see what he thinks of this. If I can convince you I do know something new about this case, will you let me see Grossberg's ledgers? I'm listening. Good. Keep it up. Aber ich denke mir, dass die Polizei bereits weiß, dass unsere Wölfe nichts damit zu tun haben. Die können einen Test machen an den Körpern. Gut. Ihre geflüchteten Wölfe sind keine Killer. Was soll's? Halten Sie nur Ihren Mund. Sie sind damit besser dran. Now we got all this translated last time. Ich habe mir gedacht, wissen Sie etwas über Großbergs Tod? Wieso sollte ich? Nun ganz einfach. Ich gab Ihnen seinen Namen. Und quickly turns it off before the ledgers first, please. Stata, bringen Sie Großbergs Papier herein. Danke, Stata. Das ist alles. Ah, yes, one of the younger guys. <laughs> I'm going out for some coffee. You'd better have something important to tell me when I get back night, or you'll learn more about chairman law enforcement than you ever cared to know. I, I think that would be anything, given Gabriel's... Gabrielness. A matter of land ownership providing residents... Or, yeah, um... That, this may be part of what Ubergrau works so hard for Gabriel on, is getting his visa extended on a, hey, this guy might be taking care of one of our historic castles, sort of. Uh, I ran out of momentum on that thought. You get what I mean. All right, folders, files. These will not kill Gabriel, I promise. Um, exotic, exotic. Oh, Gabriel, you douche. Stand up. Come to her and bring me the papers back. Is attacking us. All right. All right. Spill it. Hey, Dr. Klingman from the zoo. Yes. He belongs to a men's club, right? And the guy that was asking about Grossberg. 
Well, he's in that club, too. Ditto the third guy, the uh, one with the personality of a pit bull. Go on. The guy that was asking about Grossberg, he was listed in one of Grossberg's address books. They knew each other. In the club, these fellas all patronized as only blocks from where Grossberg was killed. Coincidence? I don't think so. Good work. We'll have the club investigated immediately. You'll have to leave that tape here. Wait a minute. I'm already in with these guys. You go in there with your SWAT troop and my stool pigeon days are over. Sorry, but I'm in charge of this case and now I have a lead. I can't depend on a civilian to do my job. What's the name of this club? The Friendly Wanderer. It's near the university. Okay. I appreciate the information, but as of now, I want you to disappear. We'll handle everything. Sure, I understand. Good luck, Weaver. The tape? Sucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Gabriel just tucked in one of his blanks, because, um, that did not look like this tape. Did Gabe just swat a random location? Um, I honestly don't know if there's any club called the Friendly Wanderer near the university. Our map really does not contain this. You love that sucker cut out. Um, that might have been me by accident. I'm not sure. It might have just been Gabe going, sucker. So, um... Uh, we do have a new location. Bushanu contains Grossberg's contact, Dorn. Michael Dorn? Let's go find out. Um, Hackerbrook. This game promised sexy where, uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the only sexy here is pretty much Von Glauer. Maybe Gabriel if you squint. They werewolves are not particularly sexy. I apologize if anyone was misled. Hello, are you Mr. Dorn? Yes. What do you want? My name is Knight. I'm an associate for Grossberg's. Grossberg? That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Now he's dead. Who's going to pay me, huh? I'll be handling Grossberg's accounts. If you could just tell me what services you perform for him exactly, I can get you a check right away. I don't talk to nobody about what I do. You pay me what I'm owed. Maybe you and I can do business together. Otherwise, I've had enough of Grossberg and his associates. Now, somehow the moment this dude walks on screen, it, you, you, look, you look at him and he's, you're like, oh, a criminal. Yeah, um... I apologize if anyone was misled into thinking there would be sexy werewolves. Exports, exotics. It'd be nice to know what all this meant. But yeah, I should bring up the uh, little thing for a minute. Just, yeah, there's gonna be some nasty stuff in this chapter, and not all of it is good or deserved. So. Just letting everybody know before we get any further in.
Uh, for now, though, we have to pay off this nice man. Which means... Give me my page back. Which means I need Gabriel's wallet. It's... It's M bounty Um... Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not... Uh, I guess I can't just pay... That way. Maybe Uber Growl can help. Uber Growl! I need you to solve another puzzle for me. You want sexy though, how about that haircut? Uh, Gabriel, come in. Hey, Harry. How about that pumpkin colored suit, huh? Could you pull some cash for me from the Ritter account? Sure. How much do you need? 14,000 marks. Are you sure it's wise to carry so much? I won't be carrying it long. All right. Frau Hogel, gehen Sie zur Bank und holen Sie mir 14,000 Mark vom Ritterkonto ab. Ja, schönen Dank. Perhaps you'd like to make out a will while we wait. How about if I just leave everything to you? I wish you would leave everything to me. <laughs> um, the, uh, okay. Th thanks, Harry. Unexpected thanks, tension. I'm sorry, if you enjoy looking for some textual homoeroticism, this game is kind of like walking into highway traffic. I'm just saying. Also, I gotta check something real quick. Uh, let's see, 14,000 marks for USD. Uh, Gabriel just got basically $7,600 in today's money. I don't know what the exchange rate was in 1995. What do you think about that, Gabe? Easy come, easy go, I guess. That's fair. Well, I'm off. See you, Harry. Goodbye. Oh, Ubergrau's fine. Ubergrau is... He is in a major business center. Explain the plot. Ah, uh, The Beast Within is the fifth Harry Ubergrau adventure. We've seen this young lawyer grow from his high school days out to his time working with this strange Schottenjäger fellow. Uh, it's a bit of a business management sim, but we've put it all together. Uh, these are our holdings. And while we may be temporarily following this night loser, I'm sure we'll get back to good old estate management sometime in the near future. <clears throat> but first... We got a payoff to make. God, that sounds solid. You again. Do you have the money Grossberg owed me? Well, yes, obvious criminal, I do. Fourteen thousand marks. In cash. In a extraordinarily fancy wallet. Come in. Please. Why don't you enter the green screen? 
Oh, it's just really green in here. Okay. Not good, huh? The smell. It's these stinking animals. No matter how much I spray them down, they smell. Some creatures are like that, yes. Subtle burn, Gabe. I'd be interested in hearing your business plan here tonight. All right, let's get all the information we can out of whatever racket he's running here. Did you talk to Grossberg before he died? Yeah, sure. A few days ago. I called the bastard for my money. He told me about you, you know. He did? Yeah, sure. Said he had a new business partner. And that soon he would have much money and could pay me everything. I thought he was lying. Now you show up. It's good for me he was telling the truth. Yeah. A new business partner. Interesting. Oh, but I'm floating again, aren't I? One moment. All right, there we go. My torso is grounded. Apologies for that. I never like to remind you folks that I'm really just an upper body. What kind of exotics did you get for Grossberg? Anything. Cats he mostly got. Things that make good coach, you know. Things you can't get on the market. But for you, you pay cash up front. I get you anything. Can you get hippopotamuses? Okay. Maybe not anything. But most <laughs> things I can get. You need some cats soon, huh? Gorilla. I can get gorilla. So he's yeah. unrepentantly a poacher. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to taking this tape somewhere. I can tell you that. Hey, how did Grossberg's export go? Okay. Usually I bring animals in, not sell them out. I worked hard to find someone to take those too. Oh, uh, where did the exports end up, anyway? Taiwan. A zoo, they said. But I don't believe it. The restaurant is what I think. Do they sell wolf meat at Taiwanese restaurants? Why not? They sell tiger. Those people, they eat anything. Ah, yes, and he's racist. Excellent. There were two wolves, right? Yeah, sure. Male and female. Did Grossberg harvest the furs or did you? Me? I do it. Only cost 250 marks extra, and I do a good job. You get the skin all clean for that. Not the meat. You pay more for the meat. Naturally. But every few months, Grossberg, he wanted the whole thing live. I don't know what he did with those. I don't ask questions. I think I have my suspicions. I think I know. And so does Gabe. All right. Uh, could I see where you kept the wolf? Yeah, sure. Kept them both in the last cage on the right. The one against the wall. Okay, one against the wall. Um, that could be either of them. Yeah, that seems like a poor choice of... Maneuver?
So we're getting this dude shut down as fuck, if, if at all possible. But, uh, I'm just gonna keep saving because... These animals are filthy. Hungry, too. I'd like to put Dorn in one of these cages and leave him there. Ah, if only. Well, if they're hungry, maybe, uh... Yeah, maybe I'm in the wrong cage? This is the one on the right, but maybe it's... These animals are... No? Okay. Hmm. There's got to be a way to access this cage, because I, I have a vague memory that there's something we need in here. And I do He's not animal. seem able to do anything with this. Which is a touch irritating. Am I positive it's not like this this side? If I have if I ever solve this case, I'll sick Leba on this guy. Well good. If I have good. But, this is the only one he'll approach. He's in. And, uh, I'm 90% sure we need to get in here. Wait. Oh? I do not seem able to do anything here. Hmm. Alright, did I actually I'm exhaust... I'm not sure what else to say. Yeah, I did exhaust everything. If I have a saw... Nope. If I have... Nope, okay. So it's gotta be this cage. And I'm positive there's something you do in here. He's a... But, uh... Oh, there it is. I'm not sure that's helping, Gabriel. Oh god, it's stock footage of a tiger. Alright, now I can... Feed the poor thing. Although I don't know what it's going to do with Weiss Wars. Yeah. Is he still standing back? Is Dorn still standing over there watching us do this? Oh, he, I guess he figures as long as the bills get paid. Yeah, Gabe, yeah, stick your big white sausage through the hole. Okay, and there's definitely something there, so... Hilda and Possible's tags. So much for the killer zoo wolves theory. Well, we've officially ruled that out. Let's get the fuck out of here. 
Gabriel is going to insert Lieber into this man's backside. Unfortunately, that'll have to be later. Because we're going with the Hunt Club. Yeah, supply Lieber liberally. To the Larson. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Gabriel, it's a baby. You don't have to speak the language. Babies don't speak the language either. They speak baby. Baby, 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 baby. I'm not the least. Hey, guys. Good. There you are. Ready to go? I suppose, uh... I don't really have any stuff. Von Agnes said he had guns at the lodge. Oh, we'll fix you up. Never fear. Gentlemen, let's go. Gabriel, did you bring tall boots? Apparently, this is a tall boots event. Oh, never mind. Clayman's in flats. He's fine. Hanneman, Price, you two sleep in Price's room. Gabriel will take Hanneman's for now. Ah. Herr Gott Sacre. <laughs> yeah, Baron. <sighs> Your room is the last door on the left upstairs. Today, we relax. Tomorrow, we hunt. Great. Can't wait. Like I said, um, if you're looking for homoerotic subtext, this game is like standing in the middle of a candy store having chocolate thrown at you. I could use a shower, but I want to look around first. Uh, Gabriel, it's been like five fucking days. Please. Okay. Anything in here? There's nothing in here. Okay. Just checking. I'll never be able to sleep in this place. Not without a barricade on the door. Uh, and a big window. I wonder if that's an authentic bird. I'd hate to get lost out there. Oh, yeah. It's a ways down there, isn't it? Yeah. There's a ledge under the windows. Too bad it's not a little wider. I mean, they sound authentic. I just don't know what they are. Generic bird song CD for, I suppose, from the stock sound library. Is there really nothing in here? There's nothing in here. All right, well, as long as we're sure. Let's go look around. Hey. Ooh, we're not speaking, are we? Well, at least we know where, Von, where Von Zell is staying. Right over it's here. It's no use. I saw him lock it myself. Well, let's try every door. Was it here? They fed nobody. Oh. So I guess we'll just let ourselves in. What the 
fuck are you looking for, Gabriel? A hug pillow? Tuck it back in. I'm pretty sure Herr Price is in there, and I don't want to know what he's doing. Yeah, good point. Excellent point. Don't want to know what Price is doing in there. Uh, what's he got in the cabinet? Um... Fox hunting outfits? Some rope? Oh, that's a bullwhip. Okay. That's some rope. That goes in the coat. Gloves? Gabriel Knight, Ducky Makura series when? All your favorites, Gabriel, Von Glauer, uh, The Wolf, um, Grace, a uh, Voodoo Zombie, um, Yeah, price sure takes a long time in the bathroom. Oh, special limited edition, Daki Makura. Um, that lead runs along the entire of face of the building. Too narrow to walk on, though. Without help. Too narrow to walk on without help. Well, fortunately. We just obtained a rope. That's nice. Mm. Let's get out of here. Never start a graphic or text adventure without rope. Uh, I don't know. It's it's important to obtain it later. And ropes are complicated, you know? Um... I remember it was like Infocom policy. Never allow the player rope or fire in unrestricted areas. Because they will run around tying everything to everything and then setting it on fire. And they will expect the fire to propagate. Yeah. What we got in here? Oh, hi. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were busy. <laughs> Mach nicht, I'm always up for company. Okay. So, amuse me, Herr Knight. <laughs> amuse! We walk in on uh, Von Eigner in the bathtub, and he's just like, Amuse me, Mr. Knight. Is he a Bond villain? Yeah, and then you get Emily Short and all, which, you know, Emily Short has done things that seem, frankly, superhuman to me in the text adventure space. So, uh... Tell me about the club. From what I hear, you've already grilled the others about it. Really, it's so tedious. All right, uh, we can talk about something else. Can I assume you're fan of the club philosophy? Well, look at me. I love to eat and I love to drink. I own a butchery and a brewery, which means I love people who love to eat and drink. <laughs> if I could make it a national religion, I would. <laughs> Point taken. The national religion is eat and drink. That's less of a religion and more of... survivalist? Well... I guess he kind of takes it to gluttonous hedonism. I mean, I guess we've we've really experienced very little von Eigner. Uh, we we haven't really experienced the von Eigner atmosphere. I guess that's what we're doing now. Have you heard of the Black Wolf? Nine. I don't know this. Are you sure? Maybe there are black wolves here. Maybe not. I have never seen them, I have only heard them. What do you mean you heard them? These wolves. 
in the woods. I'm glad I never saw them. They make such sounds. It makes your hair stand on end. You would know, my dude. Are you telling me you've heard wolves around here? Yeah, of course. You should be sure you don't go out in the dark at night. These wolves, sometimes they sound very close by. But Klingman told me wolves are extinct in Germany, except for maybe a few in the Alps. We're not close to the Alps, are we? Yeah, the Herr Doctor is obviously mistaken. There are wolves in the woods. I've heard them myself many times. There are scare cords in the wood, Mr. Knight. And they sound close. Do you know what type of animal we'll be hunting tomorrow? Deer, I suppose. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, it's too bad we don't have something more interesting to hunt. What do you mean? Well, Grossberg's death's gonna make it difficult to get anything really challenging. Leopards, lions, things like that. You enjoy sticking your neck out, don't you? Do I? If it were me, I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of someone like Von Zell. That's a pretty fucking valid point. What does Baron Von Zell have to do with Grossberg? Nothing. But he knew Grossberg. You asked him about Grossberg the other night at the club. My, what big ears you have. You gave Von Zell Grossberg's name, why? Because he asked me for it. Were you the club's main contact with Grossberg? Yeah. Buying and selling exotic animals isn't exactly legal in Germany. The others didn't want to know. Jensen, not Roberta. Roberta Williams would have killed us multiple times by now, believe me. And also, uh, King Ludwig would be, like, really alive somewhere and would be helping us out. I'm pretty sure. Do you know why Von Zell wanted Grossberg's name? He did not share his reasons with me. Well, you must have thought something. I assumed that since Von Zell was getting too big for his britches, and since he was no longer Von Glauer's pet, that he had intentions of leaving and starting his own club. And you didn't have a problem helping him go independent? I would love to see him leave. And I'm not the only one. Yeah, um... Gabriel's actor is getting a lot of moments where the director clearly just went, React to this with your face. But maybe they didn't say that. I don't know how acting works. I don't know how directing works. I've seen people act before. It's very nice. Would your cooperation in giving out Grossberg's name have anything to do with the money you owe Von Zell? How do you know about the money? You only been with the club a few days. Did the Baron say something? What's the big secret? Von Zell is a banker, is it? That's right, he is a banker, and I am a successful businessman. There you go. And he offered to cut your debt in half for a small favor, I understand. It's not your fault Grossberg's dead. Ooh, that is a... Speaking of reactions... I think you should excuse yourself now, Herr Knight. It's getting cold. Oh, sure, no problem. Close the door on the way out, please. We're uh, getting people nice and round up. Very good work, Gabe. Uh, let's go see who else we can piss off. Enter. Oh, hi. All settled there? Uh-huh. Nice place. Yes, it is. 
you should go for a walk. The woods are beautiful, and you could get your bearings before tomorrow's hunt. Good idea. Yeah, I think Gabriel Gabriel's actor is now in uh, some terribly mundane job. Write self help books, yes. Can't remember what exactly the job was though. Anyway, um We got a rope, we have a narrow ledge, let's Go investigate the place a little bit. Where do we tie this? After all, we've got to get to Von, Ze Von Zell's room. Von Zell's room is on the other side of the... Um... Apparently a Wall Street trader for a while. And he still looks the same on his website. I guess we're not going to just throw the rope out the window. Um, what can I tie this thing to? Bedpost? No. That rack? Not this. Not that. And not the door. It's got to be... Uh... Hmm... All right, we can't... Yeah, Von Zell's room is on this side. We're gonna have to risk... alerting Price. Who apparently passed out in his bathroom or something, I don't know. Music? Yeah, that is a nice musical cue. That ledge runs... Ledge runs along the entire face of the building. I hate it when I come up with ideas like this. What are you gonna tie it to, Gabriel? Okay. Oh, hello, Celine. Good to see you uh, here as well. Secret to his luscious hair. Hi, conditioner. Oh, he doesn't have the hair anymore. No. That's nine tenths of his body. Okay, let's, uh, scooch over here. Baby steps, Gabe. Oh yeah, this is fucking subtle. You're a master ninja, Gabriel Knight. Master ninja theme song. It's a good thing Von Zell isn't in his room. Because otherwise the herd of wildebeest outside would alert him. Let's, uh, let's get in there. Okay, now just rescue the embassy mission right through the window, Gabe. Just... 
Oh, this one opens. Okay, I guess they all open outward. Nice work, Gabriel. All right, here we are in Von Zell's bedroom. A fantastic place to be. Let's check out the bath. Not even a ring in the tub. Not surprised for someone as anal as Von Zell. Gabriel, why are you talking about Von Zell's anal ring? Don't do that, buddy. Don't do that. Uh, is the bath mat important? Ooh. Hello. Someone's been tromping around barefoot in the mud. Orange mud at that. No normal person would do that. I don't have any concrete that tastes. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think. Um. I don't think we have any means of preservation on this, so we'll just have to leave it there. The scare cords are getting closer. Alright, uh... Anything in here? Uh, shirt, shirt, pants. Just feel them up, I guess. I don't see anything. Uh, anything over here? Mm, not. Ew, hello. Damn, if only I could read German. Uh, price 30. Ogner Limit. 500. Heinemann. Lol, mind mit do, deuter, redraw, experiment. I don't read German. Same entry I saw at the hunt club. Okay, cool. It's evidence. We'll keep it. Okay, I guess we'll put it back. Um, fine. Fine. Um, wait a minute. Wasn't there something sticking out? Yeah, there's... What's this, kid? Aaron Von Zell. The newspaper. Oh. If I'm not mistaken, Grossberg was trying to cash in on all the excitement around the missing zoo wolves. Von Zell must have been the new business partner Grossberg told Dorn about. Guess Von Zell didn't care much for the idea. The newspaper says the wolves which are missing from the zoo have been up to no good. It's funny to consider that you and I know the zoo wolves cannot be guilty, and no one else knows this. I feel morally bound to tell the police. But I am a businessman and could be persuaded to go against my instinct. A measure of good faith, say 500,000 mark, could ease my conscience. I'll wait two days for a reply, Grossberg. Yeah, dude, no wonder you got fucking murdered. Can you imagine trying to get into Von Zell for this much money? The dude, like, already wants to punch Gabriel's face in, and... You know, he's not even... Threatening.
I guess he was gonna tell the police I know who sold the wolves. It was this guy. Yeah, Grossberg's already dead as hell. Yeah, Price is gonna shit himself when we come in his window again. Okay, that one's gonna give out any second now. This is like the bridge in King's Quest 2. You can only do this so many times. Where did they get this set? I don't know. Maybe Sierra built it. Remember Sierra back in those days had like crazy funding for this weird nonsense that they do. In the window. Try not to hang yourself, Gabe. overdub just the most Hanna-Barbera-ass noise over him falling flat on his face in the window. <laughs> Stated the day, but there's still an obvious budget that went into the sets and acting and everything for the f and Bs. Yeah. The only reason this looks kind of shitty, I guess, to my eyes, is the Compression and dithering, I guess, that they had to do. The the compression codec. I don't know if that's the right I don't know if that's the right term. I I'm making shit up. You don't make something like this game, Fred Hasagoria, with the equivalent of dead see. voice. Oh, I've seen What do you want, Knight? Just scoping things out. Really? Look all you want at the great wonders of this room, then leave and trying to rest. Um. Yeah, there is an indie FMV scene in this game. The sec is super available now. Virtual environments, that kind of thing. Uh, but I have seen older FMV game. Older FMV games that are just yeah, it's really obviously, like, we put a wig on Kevin from accounting, and now he's the main character. Oh, uh, yes, they're... Man, I gotta play Contradiction again. Last time I played, uh, FMV game Contradiction, my power cut out, like, right before I ended the game, and it got all corrupted, and... It pissed me off. Like, Twitch didn't save. I'm... I gotta replay that one. I've forgotten, like, everything about it. It's good. We'll see the indie FMV stuff. Everything looks detached from the scene. Everything manages to look green. I can understand that. Uh, but yeah. Just... Uh, Dutherian, what were you asking what about- Oh, is it because I said the word dithered? Sorry. Anyway. Quantum Break, Control, the upcoming- Yes, that's true. Uh, developer doubling its actor happened in Mist, didn't it? Yes! Famously, Rand Miller, creator of Mist, also actress. The main guy in, you know, Mist. Anyway, Clayman seems like a half-decent guy. He he doesn't seem like he's gonna fucking murder 90%. Oh, um, 
I said that video compression codecs weren't as advanced back then, so all SMV games come off as kind of grainy and blocky, and, you know, they're lower resolution than you might otherwise want to capture. I don't know. Anyway. I'd love to show him the tags, but I need to get just a few more facts first. Oh, hell yeah, let's interrogate. I wouldn't mind a chat, but Klingman needs a little attitude adjustment first. Attitude adjustment? Attitude? Well, how, how would I adjust his attitude? Um... I can't snoop around too much. Klingman's here. <laughs> no, I am not gonna, like, power bomb him. I can't snoop around. Yeah, I can't snoop around too much, because Flamin. Um. Ooh, what if I show him the blackmail letter? I don't think showing that the Klingman would do any good. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Show him the rope. I could tie him up, but I'm not sure what that would accomplish. Could you, Gabriel? Could you really? I want to. I'd pay to see that. I'd, I'd pay generously to see that. <laughs> uh, ripped out page from the accounting book. This might adjust his attitude? I don't think so. No, alright. I wouldn't mind a check. Hmm. Maybe I should come back later. Maybe I'll just keep looking around. We haven't been downstairs yet. But yeah, God, there are so many early FMV games I would love to show y'all, but there are no subtitles on most of them. And that makes them difficult to hear, particularly with my recording set up and off. Um, you needed to buy another white. Yeah, you need to throw a white worth at Klingman. It's fine. Nice closet. Hi, what a nice closet. I think I'll duck in for a while. Why, it's an old brass lantern. Staple of adventure games. Oh, it's dinky. Alright. I know at some point I'm going to have to figure out how to adjust the doctor's attitude towards us. We're running through some terrible efforts such as man enough. Yeah, that's... I in particular have my eye on a game called Panic at the Park. Which is a randomized detective mystery. That and possibly psychic detectives. And there's a couple other games that I'm looking at that I don't want to... Well, one of them's Ripper, honestly. Christopher Walken. But, you know... <sighs> I wish someone would start a fire. Well, we didn't start the fire. I wish someone... Uh... I wish... Is that... No, that looks like something, but I guess it isn't. Is there anything? No, okay. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Henneman. Looks like we finally have a chance to talk. Well, as long as my glass is full, you can ask me anything you like. I'm vaguely familiar with Mode. And honestly, Gabriel Knight never struck me as awkward. This never struck me as a particularly weird or awkward game. When I think of, like, awkward FMV games, I think, like, Hell Cab. Or Battle, uh, Battle of the Gods, I think is what it's called. Um, I think of much earlier stuff. Uh, Starship something, not Starship Titanic. But I don't think of this as a particularly awkward FMV. Are you especially close to anyone at the club? Oh, I drift on the fringes here, Knight. You, however, seem to have gone straight to the top. Oh, uh, I don't think so. 
Ah, don't be modest. Everyone can see you as a new golden boy. Why do you think Foncel bothers to hate you? Bothers to hate me. No, I was never good enough for Foncel. No, I get along better with those who do not think so much of themselves. Von Agner? Yeah, Von Agner's a good man. Dr. Klingmann, too, I like. He comes by the Donizel and drinks with me sometimes. Well, you could stop by sometime if you want. Yeah, I don't like drinking alone. Oh, Thanks. Frankenstein through the eyes of the monster. That is another great one. Yeah. Another Tim Curry performance. Never touch my notes! Except he doesn't exactly say it like notes. He's more like, never touch my notes! Um... There's a Goosebumps game where Jeff Goldblum plays Dracula. That is some shit. And I gotta I gotta get that on stream someday. I don't know how you will all have to adjust your sets. You and Klingman make an unlikely pair. <laughs> what do you find to talk about? Hey, a doctor likes to discuss the club philosophy. He's very enthusiastic, you know. And that's what made him want to join in the first place. <laughs> you sponsored Klingman's membership. Me? No, Von Zell. Von Zell? He doesn't seem like the welcome type. Oh, that's what I thought, too. You know, when Von Zell brought Klingman in, I thought they must be very close. <laughs> but the way Klingman asks questions, you, you'd think he hardly knew Von Zell. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, who can say Ivan Sell does anything? <laughs> Interesting. I get the feeling that Von Zell needed someone who had easy access to exotic animals. So he dragged Klingman into this. And Klingman is maybe not entirely settled about it. I think we got our in with Klingman. Didn't tell anyone about Jeff Goldblum being in it. That's probably the smarter thing to have done. But I can't sit on something like that. I see Jeff Goldblum. I want people to know about it. This is a nice hunting lodge. Do y'all come here often? Oh, at least once a month altogether. <laughs> oh, we can come any time we want by ourselves. Do you have any other properties where y'all hunt? Yeah, we have a lodge at Alfdorf, but we don't go there much. It is not so convenient as this one. Alfdorf? Mm -hmm. Is the club in Alfdorf close to a forest, too? Well, not close. In. It's in the Naturpark Schwäbisch Frankreicher Wald. Of course it is. Gabriel is now remembering hearing about uh, all those missing people in the Nature Park Schaben Schwäbisch have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? Black Wolf? No. This is straight up no. Never heard of it. Tell me about Price. Is there any reason you don't want a room with Price? No, you may not have noticed, but the man is a rotting schwein. Why the Baron puts up with him, I will never know. I can tell you what he's doing right now, up there in his room. He has shut himself in the bathroom. And he isn't taking a bath. Mm. I tell you, you can't turn your back on a man like that. No one is safe. Ah, uh, the predatory bisexual of... Germany. They just have the one. He's very busy. I thought Price was a hotshot lawyer. Yeah, was. Ten years ago. He's lucky he doesn't need the money now, because he can't get work. Why not? He's too obvious with his nature, you know? Okay, so maybe other men are like this, you know, thinking only what's between their legs. Price, he has no respect for normal human decency. He flaunts his perversion. Isn't that what the club's about? Getting in touch with one's instincts, or being primal? Yeah, okay, so it is. Uh, that's a question for the Baron, not for me. I, uh, I only say what I see about Price. Hmm. 
Thanks for the talk. Yeah, I hope he does it. Price was always my second favorite character in the, uh, Among the Lodge of Buddies. And I guess that's why. Oh, well. Let's go see if we can't chat with, uh, Clayman again. Man, these people drink like it's their job. Come and see. Yeah, we gotta I wouldn't mind a chat, but... Needs an attitude adjustment. What would adjust his attitude? I'm really not sure. Oh, maybe I can uh, try to kill him with the dagger. That would probably do it. I don't think showing that the Klingman would do any no. good. Some attitude pliers. I, I'm not sure we've got any of those. I'm not sure Gabriel has a mindscape, if I'm honest. Anyway, I've got to get through this part so I can get Gabriel stabbed or killed or whatever. So I am going to pull up a quick walkthrough. Um, Gabriel's mindscape maximally fuzzy video. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna see if I can find this real quick. See if I can find this answer. Oh my god, game facts. Stop asking me to rate things. I have never once wanted to rate anything. Ah, uh, let's see. Grossberg, Hanneman, Klingman. Uh. Hmm. I mean, did I maybe not read the blackmail letter well enough? Apparently, Grossberg misjudged his audience. Apparently, Gro Prepare your th Believe Apparently me, I'm trying. Really, can I... Okay, now they work. That wasn't an attitude adjustment, Gabriel. Whatever. That was Miss... Oh. Hildegun and Parcival. Nice names. My good. Don't worry. I'm not gonna turn you in. Please, and I... It would mean my job. Yeah, I said I wouldn't. Not if you tell me exactly what happened. I'm afraid. Of Von Zell. It's his fault. I only followed his instructions. Why did Von Zell want to kidnap those wolves? Um, he said he wanted to own a pair because he admired their nature as predators. He, he told me he would keep them in a private place, a safe place, to study. How did you meet Von Zell in the first place? He came to one of my lectures about three months ago. He was very knowledgeable about wolves, very. Uh, he said he admired my work. I was impressed by his knowledge and his title. Then he told me about the club, about how exclusive it was, about their philosophy. It was, it was like a dream come true for me. Yes, it is seductive. So the wolves were your price of admission. How did you get the wolves out of the zoo? Um... I led Baron von Zell and another man that I didn't know into the zoo through a, a delivery gate. The other man drugged the wolves with some meat. When they were asleep, he and von Zell uh, put two of them into the truck and drove off. I was afraid when the police came and investigated the next day, but they didn't find anything. I, th I thought we had gotten away with it. Then the killing started. The wolves aren't responsible. They were shipped to Taiwan. They never hurt anyone. That is... That is more of a relief than you could possibly imagine. But the wolves... Are they safe? I don't have that information. What do you think? <sighs> I 
Guess that's all I need to know. Please don't say anything to the police. I swear I have told you everything. Yeah, I know. I won't tell your dirty little secrets. For safekeeping. You enjoy your nap, Doc? So it's time to take stock. Um, I think Heinemann is definitely not into any kind of vicious murdering. I think uh, Von Eigner is far too drunk and far too in the bathtub to be killing anyone. Clayman is obviously a patsy. That pretty much leaves... Uh, Von Glauer and Von Zell, it's the Vons. Oh. That fire feels good. And that right where I was looking, I knew it. Some matches. You don't have to light it to Ah, uh, the magic pixel is what keeps you from dying in a fighting game. Alright, we've got a light for our light lantern now. So, let's head on outside. Take a little walk, you know. I'm just gonna start saving. I don't know when I'll stop. But... <laughs> is it me or does this look a little sound stagey? Now that we see it from a distance. I don't know. I do feel like, uh, the stuff we were climbing up, we were climbing on up there wasn't necessarily the same thing as what we're seeing out here. Like, those are two different sets. Livenworth, Washington, a tourist town made to look like a bad German tourist trap. Cheers. These might come in handy. Yoink. <laughs> the extremely human urge to pick those things up and go clack, clack, clack with them. Tools. Horse tools. Oh, is your inventory getting bulgy there, Gabe? You gotta pull your jacket closed? Try over here. Um, this is the forest. What's over here? This is more of the forest. Alright, I am not sure where to go, so I guess we're just gonna wander through the woods for a while. Let's go skip merrily through the woods. Appropriately cursed. I don't know if you can really move there. I mean, you'd always be leaving Worth. There are traces of an orangish mud in the print. Oh, interesting. Um, can we compare? Whoops. Uh, whoop. No, oh, that's not what I want. Can we compare? Uh, I don't have the paw print anymore. Credit. All right, well, let's... Man, there is a lot of woods out here. It's very rich, very varied. What's this? Gabriel, don't fucking kill yourself on the, uh... 
on the hedge. Well, we have hedge clippers. I oh, yeah, just hack away. I'm sure those aren't like old or anything. Cause of death bush. Three hours later. No, no, just eat the hedge. Just eat it. Hey, a cave! Gabe just strolls right in. God, alright, um... All right, folks, um, again, I just want to remind y'all that this is a horror game and there is going to be some violence coming up, so let's get to the violence. Let's see the horror part of the horror game. Everybody's redeeming fucking die for- I can only die so many times, y'all. Struggle your way in. What's that smell? I hear noises. Christ! It's a big fucking hole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Something's down there. Sorry? Christ! It's a big fucking hole! Yeah, it is, Gabe. And it's all the better for it, in my opinion. I'm not- I'm not sure how Curry would have delivered Christ, it's a big fucking hole. But... If you want to lick the abyss, we're going to have to play Space Quest 4. A rock. I... Oh, he stopped and threw a... Okay. Immediately back to the most peaceful forest ambiance. Immediately. Well, 
Well, let's get back to the lodge. And, uh... I think Von Glaro will want to know about this. What is it? What's happened? Happened, uh... Nothing happened. You look like you've seen a ghost. No, I... Sweet Jesus. In the woods. Show me. Gabriel comes running back to the lodge because he needs an adult. Gabriel, where are you going? In there. Okay, well, um... You go get eaten! Something must be done. Did you see him in the... Did you see Von Zell? Von Zell? No. I didn't see anybody. Only the bodies. But he was in there before, eating. Hotel is a werewolf. Go on. It looks like he's been killing like this for a long time, using the woods for cover at this lodge and at your other lodge in Alfdorf. I think he stalks his victims to learn their habits and then attacks them in secluded spots. He drags them back here to the cave to eat. The victims are reported missing since no bodies are ever found. Bonzel's careful not to let himself be seen in wolf form. One woman did see him, but no one believed her. Then something changed, I don't know why. Bonzel cooked up this plan to steal wolves from the zoo. Wolves that public mutilations could be blamed on. But he needed an inside man. So he seduced Klingman into wanting to join the club, then used a lure of sponsorship to set up the kidnapping. But then he needed a way to get rid of the wolves, a way that guaranteed the wolves wouldn't be found by the police. He knew the club got exotic animals on the black market. He'd been doing it for years. Von Agner had built up a massive debt to Von Zell. But Von Zell offered to subtract part of it if Von Agner gave him the name of the exotic's contact. The contact was a man named Grossberg. Now, Grossberg was perfectly willing to get rid of the wolves for a fee. Yes, he is. Grossberg got greedy. When he read of the wolf killings in the newspaper, he tried to blackmail Von Zell. That's when Von Zell killed him. Full plot summation. I knew Von Zell was deeply disturbed, but this is incredible. Yeah, but it's true. We have to call the police. I know the man in charge of the case. No! The police would never believe us. Nothing in their mentality prepares them for something like this. Besides, I am responsible for Von Zell. I knew that philosophy was powerful, but... I never realized that someone could take it to such a hideous conclusion. I helped create this. I must stop it. With your help, that is. What are you proposing? That you and I hunt him. Tonight. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's what you came to the club to do, isn't it? Hunt down and kill Tony Huber's murderer. You've been paying attention too, huh? You're not the only one who can ask questions. It's all right. I'm glad you showed up. Now we must act. 
Meet me at this table at midnight. Until then, be discreet. The others could only slow us down. Come alone. Don't tell anyone. Tonight it is. What rough beast slouches towards the hunt? It's prey to be undone. Don't, you're creeping me out. Am Gabe, I? where did you get that fucking coat, Gabriel? I have a tendency to do that to people. How are the clothes? I feel like Lord fucking Byron. <laughs> Nonsense. You look better than he ever did. And you'll need that extra warmth tonight. I blew her. We don't ride much in the States. We are not taking the horses. It's too dangerous to ride at night. I suppose you have a plan? We need to corner him. The best place is the ravine. I think I'd better run defense. I'm sure you have your own methods. But if I were you, I would keep close. I'm doing that. Welcome to Blue, everybody! Stay right behind me! That means we've got a gel filter on the camera. Yeah, this is still on Glower's bed. All of this is his bedroom. The man really sleeps around. Frederick. I heard something. Stay right behind me, Gabriel. Gabriel, where the fuck are you going? Friedrich! Damn it. He's hidden behind the Did rendering it? artifacts. That's a tree, Gabriel. Way to go, Gabe. You're lost as balls. Oh, woods. Now we're in the woods. Hold that like, okay. Alright, we save immediately. Because, you know, it's time to kill Gabe. For real. So let's just wander aimlessly through the forest. I'm sure nothing bad can happen to us. Also, I think we should, uh, have the Schottenegger talisman in our thingy. But let's just wander aimlessly around the forest. Oh look, a wolf! Yeah, it's a wolf. Yeah, it is a wolf! 
It is a wolf! Isn't that great? That's right, get punch it. Way to go. He got strawberry jam all over him. Anyway, remember, you cannot win a boxing match with a wolf because a wolf does not have fists. Happily, there's a nice little try again button. Uh, we can just skip this. But yeah, uh, the Schottenjäger talisman. Let's Ready, let's actually ready that. Well, that's like a fight, more like, well, you know, sometimes you just... God, I cannot believe that works! So the idea is that you have to steadily push the wolf back. Back to the ravine. I... It would help if I knew where the ravine was, exactly. But we're getting in there. Yeah, this is a, it's a very realistic, it's the most realistic wolf that money could buy in 1995. We gotta do a lot of clicking on this wolf, you know. Everyone else is doing the same thing. Uh, I... Is every click a pet? I don't know. I... I don't know where the fuck we're pushing this wolf. But you can tell we're clicking because Gabriel is going... with his lips. Push it to the limit. This is a very big, yeah. Alright, keep going. Um, I think we're going in a big circle. Actually. Alright, one moment. Where am I supposed to be? Um... I think... Let's try going this way? No. Alright. Not that way. Whoops. Maybe we do go south. Ah, here's the ravine. Okay. Where the hell is it? If you have to ask. I made it to the ravine, but where's Long Glower? Or the wolf? Hmm. Maybe we miss the wolf. Maybe we have to do that again. Maybe we have to, uh, bring the wolf around again. Alright, let's try this again. From the tree! 
Gabriel roars out his battle cry. It's almost like Von Glauer can't hurt this wolf for some reason. Alright, I will... What if we shoot Von Glauer? Sorry, too dumb, too dumb. Yeah, you notice how the wolf is constantly, like, doing head fakes over at Von Glauer there? Damn you! Shoot! <laughs> and this is the same death scene as before. So let's go ahead and do that the way we're supposed to. But I had to try shooting Von Glauer. I had to try. Secrets out. I'm obviously not a hunter. This shit sickens me. You are less experienced than I thought. But not for long, I'm sure. Oh, it's the wound. We need to clean it. I guess he got me. Wait a minute. I shot him. You made me shoot him. I'm okay. Oh, Christ. Thank God you made me shoot him. Come on. We'll fix you up in the lodge. And I'll drive you back to Munich in the morning. I think you've done enough hunting for one trip. <sighs> yeah, Gabe has not yet put two plus two together to get four. But now we're into chapter six. Last chapter of the game. Grace, you're having those dreams again. No, Gabriel, I don't know what it means either. Beware the black wolf. Two wolves. 
are missing from the zoo. An alpha werewolf cannot harm the better with his own hand. Uh, it's part of the patch. The fiend name thing. The subtitle patch. and beta thing, I'm willing to accept as a relic of, you know, the 90s. I don't know. Gabriel did manage to put a lot of shit together. I, I'll give him that. Like, that entire summation he gave to Von Glauer was fantastic. It's just that it's the kind of summation that ends with Von Glauer nodding solemnly and going, Have you told anyone else about this? No, oh, you guys want to discuss werewolf and Greg. That's... Fine by me, I'm not monetized. Ah, uh, we are witnessing the last days of Ludwig. He asks for water. And she never so reveals. So put this with my heart. Tell to it him. And she never reveals what he said. But now we know. With his heart. Fuck you! You have a visitor. That bird seems to like it here. Okay. Hi, Gabe. How, how you doing?
Grace. I'm right here. I fucked up. <laughs> I know. It's okay. I fucked up, I know. It's not okay. Not even close. How'd you find me anyway? I ordered a deed of entitlement to issue to the Black Wolf. It came in yesterday, and Von Glauer's name was on it. I threatened Werner Huber's life unless he told me where you were. No, I want to fucking no. see that scene! Unfortunately, your cavalry arrived too late this time. Well, if you hadn't been such an idiot refusing to tell me where you were, I might have been able to save your little butt days ago! Well, maybe I'd rather have it chewed off than have to deal with your gloating. You ever think of that? Forget it. We have to deal with things the way they are. Do you remember what you kept talking about on the way over here? That vision of Ludwig? Yeah. Believe it or not, it may help us out. I'm gonna go check on some things. Mr. Smith will watch over you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. And that, I think, is where we will leave it for now. Um, we did manage to get Gabriel killed a couple of times. I did not advertise falsely this time, thankfully. Um, next stream may or may not be... Yeah, Gambanthropy. Uh, the next stream may or may not be tomorrow. Uh, I may need to set up... We are towards the end of Chapter 6, which means we are... Well, we're at the start of Chapter 6, which is the start of the end of the game. Start of the end of the game. Pretend what I'm saying makes sense. And I want to try to be sure that we're, uh... I want to take a day or so to try to get Gabriel Knight 3 set up. If I can get it set up later tonight, that's great. If I can get it set up tomorrow, that's great. I'll stream. Let's go. If I have some trouble getting it set up, uh, then it'll be Wednesday. No, wait, tomorrow's fucking Wednesday. It'll be Thursday, excuse me. So... Either tomorrow or Thursday will be the next stream, depending. Uh, and I want to remind folks, I've never played more than like an hour or so of Gabriel Night 3. I managed to solve the infamous cat hair puzzle on my own. Thank you, old man Murray, you piece of shit. And uh, it just never ran well for me. It ran in extreme slow motion, and later I couldn't get it to run at all. I had to jump through some hoops to get the game to even start on this PC, but I think I've got it working, and that means that we will be able to play Gabriel Knight 3. So, you'll get to watch me puzzle through a Gabriel Knight game I've never even touched most of. So, uh, look forward to seeing me wander in circles mumbling to myself. But yeah... Yeah, um... A new-to-me Sierra game is rare anymore. Ah, uh, um, there's... Nobody I want to drop you guys on streaming right now, so... I will release you into the ether. <sighs> Thank you all for attending. Thank you for listening to me. Ramble on about the most bullshit and about just the most pointless stuff. And, uh, rest well. Goodbye, everybody. I appreciate this game, too. This is a great game. Have I, have I missed anything in chat? <laughs>
tummy hurt disease is fatal for you. Yeah. Tummy hurt disease kills roughly 10,000 people a day. You gotta be vigilant. Good night, everybody.